All right, it doesn't really get any weirder than this. This is a 1989 LaForza. Uh, it's parked here near the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. And I came across this thing years ago, uh, probably three and a half years ago almost. And it was kind of the, one of the first vehicles that I saw that really just kind of made it clear to me how unique the cars are out here in the West. So, long story with these, uh, this is a 1989 model year. This is based on a vehicle built by Ivaco for the Italian military. Uh, Ivaco is the industrial arm of Fiat. So, it's, this thing is built on a platform an Ivaco platform, and it kind of was conceived as a competitor to the Range Rover. Um, I forget the name of the guy who designed this thing, but he's a somewhat famous car designer. And uh, they kind of were like, hey, let's try to build a premium SUV and uh, sell it in the United States using this Ivaco platform. Uh, so the body, I think, I think is uh, done by Pininfarina. And given the association with Fiat, which is also associated with Ferrari, uh, a lot of people kind of refer to this as the Ferrari SUV, even though that is not correct. But uh, I've seen one other of these before, and someone had stuck Ferrari logos on it, which is kind of a thing with these. But uh, yeah, this presumably has a 5 liter. I think they came with Ford V8s uh, for a while, but they were sold with a couple different engines. Obviously, they didn't really pan out. Uh, there are like none of these left and anytime they go for sale they usually show up online on like bring a trailer or Jalopnik or some other car website because it's it's really kind of rare that they go on sale uh, you can see inside of this thing they tried to make it a luxury vehicle you can see that the wood uh, laminate or whatever that is there is all cracked uh, you got buttons along the top for everything from the hazards to the door locks to the defrosters to unlock the trunk to unlock the rear hatch, it looks like maybe. Uh, windshield wipers, maybe that's a four-wheel drive control, the fourth one from the right there. Uh, I don't see a low-range transfer case. Yeah, there's a moldy banana peel in there, so this thing looks pretty nasty, pretty neglected. Uh, I haven't seen it up here for a while, and I was just driving by, and I caught it out of the corner of my eye, so I decided I should probably stop and document this thing. So these tires are, yikes, GT Radial, Adventuro all terrains. Oof. Looks like it's been in a little bit of a front end collision, too. You can see the bumper and the fender and the hood don't really line up. But uh, yeah, this Oregon plates, when I looked it up, it came up as a 1989 La Forza. La Forza. Clear coats peeling off. So these were kind of, uh, they, they started selling them here in the late 80s. Obviously, the project wasn't too successful, and they, I think they got to the point where they were left with a lot of old bodies, and as demand presented itself, meaning I think as they would get a customer, they would throw one together using uh, one of the old bodies in frames, they'd, throw a, they'd put different engines into them, uh, depending on the model year, like I said, Ford V8s wound it up in a lot of them. Uh, so you can find these, I think all the bodies probably came over in the early 90s. This is just kind of me piecing the story together since I've researched these a little bit. I think the bodies came over in the early 90s is my guess. And then as they got customer orders, they would put them together. So you'll find these uh, with model years as late as 1997. Uh, I've actually stumbled across another one that was a 1997 model year, uh, but I'm pretty sure the bodies are all, you know, for all intents and purposes, the same age. Uh, but they did change little things over the years. Uh, some of them have different grills. Uh, I think the wheels remain similar. I mean, those are heavy-duty wheels. I don't even know what the uh, spacing is on those lugs, but obviously six lugs. Uh, and they did change little things uh, with each passing model year. But these are just super cool. I mean, you got these handles on the back. Not very good quality, obviously. Uh, pretty much a glorified kit car. Uh, and then factor in that it's essentially an Italian car from the late 1980s. And really the only reliable part of this is the Ford engine. 
that's under the hood of a lot of them. But anyway, yeah, 1989 La Forza. I really wish I could uh, get out and drive this thing. Maybe I should leave a note on the windshield or something. But yeah, pretty, pretty remarkable. This is about as weird as it gets here in the U.S. with regard to rare old 1980s 4x4s. You've got 80 series Land Cruisers and Jeep Grand Wagoneers skyrocketing in value right now. And uh, to me, that just makes the La Forza all that more interesting. Man, I love this thing. I'm rambling and rambling, but it's really just because I am so, so, so intrigued by this thing, and I, I, I just want to stand here and stare at it. But anyway, yeah, 1989, La Forza. <laughs> the Italian Range Rover, kind of. It's probably a good way to think of it. Really, really cool.